Well, welcome back, folks. Thanks for stopping by to watch the video. This uh, video is for what sold this week on eBay for the third week of August 2021. And this first thing is a, a school book, homeschoolers book, uh, teacher's guide. And I, I didn't pay anything for this. I listed it April 12th. It sold August 15th for $4.99 plus shipping. Next. Trifala is just some vitamins I picked up, um, I think at Walmart. I paid three dollars for the lot, so they were a buck a piece. I mean, for the, you know, a buck for the, the uh, you know, bottles, and uh, they were clearanced out, so I paid three bucks for the lot. And let's see, they let's see, I listed them May third. They sold August fifteenth for twelve ninety nine with free shipping. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do very well on these. I don't think. Um, that just is what it is. So, I th and I typically find that with a lot of stuff I buy on clearance at Walmart, is it takes a while to sell. A lot of times it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. So I have to be more careful with that. I don't do it very often anymore. But I was feeling a little flush that day, I guess. So. All right, here we go with uh, Fisher Price thing this thing was in my basement um it was in the original box it had never been opened but the box was damaged so i ended up taking it out of the box and selling it this way which actually even in the box it, it didn't actually sell for much more because other people had them in the box and they hadn't actually sold them for that much more because of the amount of shipping because of the size of the box and everything so it was actually better to sell it this way so I paid 99 cents for it, um, and again, I, I had it for a long time, probably five years, and I listed it August 5th. It sold August 16th for $16.15 uh, plus shipping. So next, I think, next, there we go. Took a little while for that to, uh, my computer is doing something. I can hear, I can hear like the fan running, so it must be doing some, some, some thing in here. So anyway, Princess House. Uh, Heritage. This is a Irish cream mug. 79 cents I paid for this. Just the one. It, I listed it December 11th, 2016. So keep that in mind. 2016. It sold five years later on August 16th for 10.99 plus shipping. Next. Ouch. But you know, it never seems like that long. I list something. You list something, and you know, honestly, you think it's gonna sell. You know. And then it doesn't. Model Railroader. Uh, 1955. This was a collection of 12 issues from the year. Uh, magazine issues. And I paid 60 cents for this. Because I bought them in a bag lot at the niche. So uh, I paid 60 cents. I listed it May 24th, 2019. And sold it August 16th for $19.95. I've only got a couple of these left. I had quite a few of them, like 10 or so. And, uh, yeah. So, $19.95. Free shipping on it. Next. Alright. This is a, a gun case for a Taurus pistol. Handgun. I don't know what the deal is on it. But I got it at Knit. No, nah, I got it at Goodwill for $0.99. Cents. So, I listed it. July 19th, it sold August 17th for 10 bucks. I took a best offer for 10 bucks plus shipping. Next. Smoky Mountain Dreams. This is a sealed DVD. It was sealed and i uh, pretty sure I picked it up for free at, at the niche. It was out in the free stuff at the niche. So I listed it June 17th. It sold August 17th and I got 10 bucks. Best offer accepted. Uh, free shipping. No, not free shipping. They paid for shipping. Not free shipping. Next. Ch Chalene. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Chalene Extreme. Uh, I had a, a set of these. I think I was maybe missing one or something like that. And they seem to sell a lot better selling them individually than the entire case of them. So I, I got them at a property I cleaned out. So I didn't actually pay anything for these listed them august 11th this one this one sold august 17th for 10 bucks 10 bucks plus shipping on it so next reverse flash this little uh fisher price dude 
And let's see. 28 cents I paid for him. Listed him April 29th. Sold August 17th for 15 bucks plus shipping. It was plus shipping, right? Yep. 15 bucks plus shipping. Stop Thief. This is a game I had. This I also had in the basement. Unfortunately, the box was destroyed down there, which is why I should never go. I should never go shopping again for anything else until I get the stuff that I have listed. It's just silly to keep getting more stuff. So I'm I'm, I'm doing a pretty good job of that. I, I I have stopped going to Goodwill. I gave my my business credit card to my wife. And she put it away for me so that I don't have it to go crazy. So even if I do stop at one of the thrift stores like the niche or my neighbor's closet, I only have the cash in my pocket or in my wallet to use, which I don't typically carry very much. So that has helped a lot. Mostly I'm just not going. Um, but once in a while I need a, I need a fix. So anyway, this is just the instruction manual for the game. That, that's all this was. So, um... Again, I think I paid 99 cents for the game, but I don't know. So I put in here that I paid nothing. I listed it uh, July 26th. It sold August 17th for $3.80. And I, I think that's the only thing that's sold out of that so far. I listed a bunch of parts, but just this, the instruction here seems to be the only, things that, the only thing that's sold, which is okay. That's cool. All right, $3.80 plus shipping on that. Next. Uh, so a big lot of melamine um, dinner plates. They they were pretty neat. The condition uh, the condition was really good, and they seemed um they seemed like they were pretty good plates. I mean, I didn't see anything wrong with them, but I I paid five dollars for them, and I listed them January twenty sixth two thousand nineteen, and they sold. August 19th for I did get $30 plus shipping so that was impressive but um I, they, they took a while to sell so a little eggplant design on them that was pretty neat so man yeah. all right next oh R.L. Stein book haunted uh, a paperback book and I paid 20 cents for this I listed it August 17th it sold August 20th for $20 uh, with free shipping. 20 bucks with free shipping. So, that was pretty cool. Next. And a couple little tugboats. These came out of a bag lot of toys I bought. Uh, I bought the bag lot for something else that was in the bag. And I just I just listed, tried to list everything I could in there if I could find it. So, 15 cents I paid for these. I listed them July 1st last year. They sold August 20th for $6.99. And that was everything for this third week of August. Altogether, I paid $12 for all the stuff that I sold, 12 bucks. And this is horrible, but here it is, $170.83. Uh, that that is that was my sales for the week. No returns, no no uh, non-paying bidders, no cancellations, but still $170. Kind of weak. So um but is what I deserve because I wasn't doing the work. So that's on me. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Keep listening. Take care. Bye-bye.